Do you ever wish you could make annoying ads like this disappear? And not just at home, but even when you're on the go. Maybe you wanna do something like play the daily Wordle without having to sit through another ad. I mean, come on. Well, I've set up this Pi Zero 2W with Pi Hole and Tail Scale to block ads on every device I own, and it even works when I'm away from home. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the full setup from start to finish. So no more waiting around, let's just get right into it. First, here's everything you're gonna need. A Pi Zero 2W, micro SD card, and a micro USB power cable or power supply. I've got links to everything down in the description below. All right guys, so once you've got all your parts handy, we're gonna start by plugging the micro SD card into the computer and then heading over to the official Raspberry Pi website where we'll be downloading their imaging software. We're just gonna click this blue download button. So once you've got that installed, you can open it up and this is what it's gonna look like. First, we're gonna choose our model, which is the 02W. Then we'll go operating system. I'm gonna recommend going with the legacy 64-bit light, so bookworm. So we're gonna select that one and then select the micro SD card, click next. And then there's a few settings we're gonna need to tweak here. So click edit settings. We're gonna to wanna to set a host name. So I just chose Pi Hole, pretty easy to remember. And then username, Pi, password, set something secure and then you're gonna to wanna to enter in your Wi-Fi information right here. Also make sure that your wireless LAN country is set correctly. So for me, it's US, set your time zone. And then under services, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that this enable SSH box is checked since that's how we'll be connecting to the Pi. And once you've got all that, just make sure to take note of your host name. So for me, pihole.local and then the username since we'll be needing that in just a second. So click save, yes and then yes again. It might ask you for your password, so just enter that in. And now it's going to write the OS to our micro SD card. So we're just gonna give it a minute or two for that to finish up. All right, now once that's finished, you'll see this message here. Just press continue, and now we can unplug the micro SD card, pop it into the Pi, and then plug power into the, into the Pi as well. So after plugging it in, we'll just give it a few minutes to get booted up. All right, after a few minutes have gone by, we can try connecting to the Pi via SSH. So open up a terminal or command prompt and we'll type in the command SSH. And then you'll wanna type your username. So I set Pi and then your hostname.local. So pihole.local. Press enter, type yes, and then enter your password. And we should be connected. So now we can get to installing Pihole, which is gonna be doing our ad blocking. So head over to the Pihole documentation. And we're gonna copy this command here, head back to our terminal and paste it in. It's gonna go through a little bit of an automated setup here, so we'll just let it do its thing. Now once that finishes, we'll see this message here. This installer will transform your device into a network-wide ad blocker. So we're gonna press OK. OK again. And here's a really important part. We're gonna to need to set a static IP address for our Pi. And there's a couple ways you can do that depending on what internet service you have. So for me, I have Spectrum, which has an app where you can kind of configure some of the settings. If you don't have an app, you can typically access your router settings at either of these two IP addresses shown on screen. You wanna look for a settings menu related to DHCP reservation or similar. In my case, I'm gonna go into this menu here, port forwarding and IP reservations. I'm just gonna scroll down until I find the Pi that we just set up, okay, at the bottom and then we're gonna go reserve IP address, and we should be good to go. Reserved IP devices, back in your terminal or command prompt. Once you've set the static IP for your Pi, we're gonna continue, and it's gonna ask us for an upstream DNS provider. I like to use Cloudflare, so that's what I'll choose. And then the block list. So there's a default block list that's going to tell the Pi what DNS requests to filter out. Uh, there's also some block lists you can add after the fact, and I'll have some linked down below, but we'll just uh, choose yes here for now. Yes to query logging, and then I'm gonna choose option two here, and continue. And now it's just gonna finish the rest of the setup. All right, so once that completes, it's gonna give us some information here, including our IP address, as well as the address to get to the admin panel. 
Uh, so first, we're gonna wanna make sure that this Pi is set up as the DNS server for our home network. To do that, go back to your admin panel or router app, and we're going to find a setting related to DNS server or namespace. In my case, it's right here, and I've already set it, so 192.168.1.37. So this basically tells all DNS requests to go to our Pi so that all the ads and other junk is filtered out. So once you've set that, we can go ahead and head over to the Pi Hole admin panel by going to the IP address slash admin. And it's gonna ask us for the password. I think the password, yeah. So it sets us a temporary password, which we can change later. But in this case, I'll just use this one. We'll go ahead and save that, why not? So this is the dashboard. It's gonna show us all the DNS queries that are essentially being filtered out on our network. Now, if you wanna add that extra block list that I was talking about, you're gonna to wanna to enter that URL uh, right here. So you'll just paste that in and then click add block list and it'll add it to our, to our blocked addresses. So at this point, if you made it this far, you've got PyHole set up and live on your 02W and it's actually blocking ads on your local network. I wanted to take this a step further and have this ad blocking ability work even when I'm away from home and not on my home network. This has been pretty game changing for me, so let's go through it really quick. To do this, we're gonna need a service called Tailscale, which essentially creates a encrypted secure network between all your devices. And it's actually gonna give us seamless access to the Pi Holes ad blocking ability, even when we're not on our home network. So first we're going to get it set up and running on the Pi itself. So going back to our terminal, we're gonna press OK. Then we're actually gonna install Tailscale. So we're gonna copy this command here, paste it in, hit enter. It's gonna do a bunch of setups, so we'll just give it a minute. All right, once that's run, it's gonna give us a command here to complete the login to Tailscale. So we're gonna go sudo Tailscale up, and it's gonna tell us to authenticate, visit this URL. So we'll copy that, head over to our browser, paste it in. It's gonna give us a few ways to sign in. I'm just gonna use GitHub because that's pretty easy. So we'll go authorize and connect. So login successful. We're gonna visit the admin console, clicking that link. And you can see that I've already got a few other devices hooked up here, but you can see that our Pi hole shows up here and it's connected, so that's good. Before we install this on our other devices like our laptops and our phones and stuff, we're gonna first need to change a couple settings. So first what you're gonna to wanna to do is copy this IP address here, head over to the DNS section, and under the name servers area, we're going to add a name server, custom, paste that IP address in, save, and then we're gonna to toggle this override DNS servers on. And what this is doing is basically telling all of our devices that are gonna be connected to Tailscale to send its DNS requests through our Pi hole, which obviously is going to filter out all the ads and other stuff. That's the first thing that we're gonna set, and then we're gonna to need to go back to the Pi hole admin panel, and under settings, DNS, we're going to change one of the interface settings here, and we're gonna say permit all origins. Now I know this looks scary because it says potentially dangerous options, but if you read here, we're not port forwarding at all. The Pi hole is still behind our router, and it's not exposed to the open internet. So if you follow this setup, there's not gonna be any security concerns. So I'm just gonna say save and apply, and we should be good to go. If we wanna test it right now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to download the Tailscale client for Mac OS and install it. And it should show in the top tray here for Mac. We can go and toggle that on to connect. It's gonna ask us to authenticate so we're gonna go authenticate it, all right. So if we go back to the console now, you'll see that my Mac shows up here and it's connected. And now if we go to a site like speedtest.net, which usually has a ton of ads, you'll see that we're good. But right now we're actually on my home network. So to simulate me being kind of away from my home network, I'm just gonna connect to my phone hotspot. So now we're connected to the hotspot. I'll reload and we shouldn't see any ads come up at all. And yeah, looks like we're good. And that's pretty much it guys. Being ad free across all my devices feels pretty good. Let me know if you found this walkthrough helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I've got more coming soon, so I'll see you guys in the next one.